You do not get to demand how or what other people think of you. You simply do not get to demand that. In fact, what other people think of you is none of your business. If they make it your business, you're free to respond to them however you wish. But you don't get to demand how or what other people think of you. A number of feminists out there, a number of SJWs out there, seem to think that they get to make those kinds of demands and somehow not be looked at as serious control freaks. Personally, I think you have a mental disorder if you think you have the right to control what other people think of you, or that you have the right to demand what other people think of you. To me, that's, that's a mental disorder. That's a serious issue. For instance, you don't get to demand whether someone looks at you in a sexual way or not. You can demand that they don't do something to violate your agency, but them looking at you is not violating your agency. If they tell you that you're beautiful, that is not violating your agency. Now, if they act like they are entitled to your body, and they say things that suggest that they are going to do something to you, that's violating your agency. If they touch you without your permission, that's violating your agency. And they are most certainly violating your agency and your right to make uh, your own decisions and your right to your own free will if they were to rape you. That's a complete violation. But someone just looking at you a certain way? You're free to tell them that you think it's creepy the way you're, they're looking at you. If they tell you that you're beautiful, you're free to tell them that that makes you uncomfortable. You're free to tell them whatever you want based off of what they've said to you. And if you tell them that you're uncomfortable with that and they continue, well, that's harassment. If they start to treat you like shit because you haven't take, taken what they view as a compliment uh, nicely and, and you... you uh, and they start treating you like shit? Um, yeah, that could be considered bullying. But it's not harassment if they've just said to you that you're beautiful. That's not harassment. That's not a violation of your agency. And if you think that people shouldn't sexualize others except when they're in very specific situations, you're really being no better than religious fundamentalists. You're really being no better than that. You're spreading a dogmatic belief that sexuality is wrong unless you are telling someone that it's totally cool to look at someone in a sexual manner. You don't get to control that. You don't get to demand that out of other people. And if you've got such mental issues that you just can't handle someone doing that to you, looking at you in some sort of sexual manner, you know, there are a lot of places, there are a lot of ways 
that you can order the things you need in your life online and you can avoid being around the public altogether if you've really got that many issues with it. Now myself, I've learned to have fun with that sort of thing. And I know damn well that most people are repulsed by someone who has the type of body I have, even though I like it and I know that there are certain other people that like it. I know that most people are repulsed by it, but I like to just show it off anyway and fuck with people's heads. It's fun. For me, just someone acknowledging the way that I look, whether they've said something or whether it's the way that they look at me, or they'll take some pictures of me, like in the, the last video, one of the, what was it, a minute and 48 seconds in, there were some girls that were, you could see them uh, with their, their smartphone originally pointing at me, and then they move it over as if they're looking at, at one of the, uh, uh, something in one of the shops. <laughs> and I just thought it was funny. If you look at that video, look at that moment, you'll see it. You know, I enjoy that. But I'm an attention whore, and some people aren't attention whores. But if you can't even handle getting any attention at all, um, I feel very sorry for you. But you don't get to demand how other people think of you. You don't get to demand that. And if you don't want people to think anything of you, and you want to basically be invisible, then you have to just avoid people then. That's that's really the only thing because you don't get to demand what other people think of you. And unless people tell you what they think of you, it's none of your business. 